The movie starts in China during World War II, showing an underground biochemical laboratory owned by the Japanese in China. They're experimenting on a serum that can enhance physical strength, hoping to create an unbeatable army. Later, because of a British attack, the lab gets buried underground, leaving only a few people know where it is. The story then jumps to 2010, focusing on Sun, who works as a clown in a circus group. Sun is good at throwing knives, but he never gets to show it off, so his talent goes to waste. Additionally, Sun is a disciple of a martial arts master named Wei, who owns the circus. Sun really wants to perform like the older circus members, but Wei won't let him because Sun's late father asked him to keep Sun safe. One night, Sun accidentally sees his five seniors sneaking out of their rooms. One of them, Zheng, leads them. They're following three treasure hunters who are looking for old ruins. Shortly after, Zheng and his friends capture the treasure hunters, quickly to steal their treasure and quit the circus. Zheng catches Sun too. At first, they think of kicking Sun out. But then, Zheng decides to use Sun to get into the underground lab. It turns out to be the same lab from the beginning of the movie. Now, Sun has to help open a container with gold bars. Once it's safe, Zheng tells his friend to get rid of Sun. But instead of gold, they find poisonous gas in another container. At that moment, everyone gets contaminated, including Sun, who manages to survive, but Zheng's friend dies from falling. Shortly after, they started throwing up and feeling really sick. Sun ran away and accidentally fell onto a boat that took him to Hong Kong. Because of the gas, Sun's body swelled up and he felt super hungry. He ate some salted fish from local fishermen, but they thought he stole it and chased him. Luckily, Sun met a woman named Angel Lee. At that moment, she asked Sun to help change her flat tire and promised to give him a ride. Finally, Sun made it back to his place, which was in the circus training studio. Not knowing his body was leaking water like a sponge, Sun went to sleep on the mattress. At the same time, Zheng and his three friends were committing a crime, robbing money and jewelry. Unexpectedly, the poisonous gas caused the four of them, including Sun, to undergo mutations, giving their bodies strength above that of a normal human. The next morning, Sun was surprised to find his body had returned to normal on its own. He decided to contact Wei, who was still out of town to continue the circus show. Sun also experienced a unique phenomenon, as he could see mosquitoes moving very slowly. The gas caused Sun's heart to beat much faster than a normal human's, making him see the mosquitoes moving in slow motion. When Sun went out to eat, there was a hostage situation involving a bank customer and a criminal. At that moment, the police had difficulty subduing him as the criminal held onto the hostage tightly. Moreover, the position made it difficult for snipers to shoot accurately. Unexpectedly, Angel Lee, a journalist, happened to stand beside Sun, who was no longer overweight, so Angel Lee didn't recognize him at all. Shortly after, the situation became tense when the criminal felt cornered and was about to pull the trigger. However, Sun could now see from hundreds of meters away and could clearly see the movement, so he took a small bamboo stick and managed to incapacitate the criminal. After that, Sun immediately became the center of attention, including from the journalists, so Angel Lee tried to save him by taking him into her car and driving to Sun's place. On the other hand, Zheng and his friend not only experienced mutations in strength and body endurance, but also underwent physical changes resembling monsters. Zheng and his friends then held several scientists hostage to create an antidote to return their bodies to normal. Shortly after, Zheng was very surprised to see Sun on television, still normal without any physical changes. Seeing this, the scientists concluded that the toxin's reaction would vary for each human body, and Sun's body might have sufficient antibodies to resist physical changes. After that, Zheng and his friends immediately went to the circus training ground. At the same time, Sun and Angel Lee had just arrived, hiding from the pursuing journalists. When Zheng arrived, he was completely shocked by Sun's transformation, as he could move faster than all of them. Shortly after, a fierce fight broke out between Sun and Zong and his friends, who also had abilities beyond normal human. However, despite Sun's superior speed and strength, without proper strategy and decision-making, he was just an ordinary man with super abilities, so he was pressed. 
Fortunately, two special agents from the Hong Kong police who handled special cases intervened. They were sent to investigate the mutant cases like Sun and Zong to prevent panic in society. When Sun was cornered, he suddenly experienced an uncontrollable reaction. Sun then grabbed several knives and engaged in a battle of skills with Zhang, both of whom were proficient in using throwing knives. Feeling overwhelmed, Zhang and his friends fled, while Sun, who fainted, was taken by Liu and Yu Beidou, be treated at a government facility. The doctor handling Sun confirmed that there was a certain substance like a toxin in Sun's body that heightened his physical and instinctual abilities. However, the toxin did not affect Sun's muscle tissue or organs, leading the doctor to conclude that Sun was indeed born with extraordinary genetics. As a journalist sensitive to various strange and unique events, Angel Lee suggested that Sun be made an icon of heroism to build trust in Hong Kong society towards law enforcement. The idea was approved by the police chief, so Sun was widely publicized as a heroic figure defending justice. Shortly after, Sun became a famous figure in Hong Kong. Although his main goal was to become an icon of heroism to increase public trust in law enforcement, in reality, Sun was only used as a moneymaker by Angel Lee and her company, starring in numerous advertisements unrelated to heroism. And this was complained about by Liu and Yu Bai, who were worried. With Sun appearing in public, it would only provoke Zhang and his friends to become angrier and more mischievous. While Sun was busy with his activities as a celebrity, Zhang and his friends experienced rapid evolution. Their faces were no longer human-like. One night, at a party, Yu Bei and Liu were seen chatting. Unexpectedly, they were engaged lovers who were about to get married soon. There was concern in Yu Bai's mind about their task of guarding Sun, because the enemy they faced was not ordinary humans but mutated monsters. Knowing this, Yu Bei wanted to ask for help from central agents to increase security. However, Liu had great ambitions to be the best, so he refused to do so and wanted to carry out the mission without anyone's help. Some time later, when Sun was filming in the studio, Zhang and his friends appeared intending to drink Sun's blood, which they believed would be an antidote to stop their mutations. Additionally, Zhang also wanted to seize Sun's popularity, including Angel Li's attention. It turned out that Zhang had long been in love with Angel Li. While Sun and Zhang were busy fighting in the studio, Liu was fighting against one of the mutants named Luan. Fortunately, Liu was very proficient in acupuncture and nerves, so he used this ability to defeat Luan, rendering her unable to move her muscles, and she died. While Sun was overwhelmed, Zhang managed to bite and suck his blood. Unfortunately, Sun's blood was not a cure to stop Zhang's mutations, but rather Sun's DNA, which was the reason why Sun could resist the biochemical toxin in his body. Shortly after, Liu appeared and was determined to defeat Zhang. Initially, Yu Bei urged Liu to leave immediately. However, ambition and selfishness seemed to have taken over Liu's mind, so he persisted and tried to use the same moves to defeat Zhang. After that, they both were overwhelmed by Zhang, who had become stronger after undergoing the third stage of evolution. Realizing that Yu Bei and Sun were seriously injured, Liu reluctantly surrendered and immediately took them both away from the scene. On the journey, Yu Bei was attacked in a vital area, causing her to die on the way. Within two days, they were going to get married, so Liu was deeply devastated and regretful for Yu Bei's death due to his selfishness. Not long after, in a hut on the edge of the lake, Liu treated Sun using acupuncture. When Sun recovered, Liu intended to teach Sun how to control and enhance his strength because only Sun was the one who could defeat Sheng, who had now turned into a green monster. While Sun was training his abilities and knife-throwing techniques, Zheng became uncontrollable, causing damage in various places of the country. Initially, Zheng thought money could make him normal again, but in fact, Zheng faced a rejection due to his unacceptable physical appearance to the public. Meanwhile, Angel Lee cried every day, regretting her exploitation of Sun for her personal and company's interests, as according to the news, Sun was reported dead. Angel Lee wanted to redeem herself by meeting with the police and agreeing to lure Zhang to a certain place so that the police could capture him. Shortly after, around Angel Lee's apartment, the police were already in position, unaware that one of Zhang's mutant friends was there and killed them all. 
Meanwhile, Zheng entered the apartment and overpowered two guards. He then immediately asked Angel Li to live with him. However, Angel Li refused to live with a monster like Zheng, so she chose to throw herself down with Zheng. As they were falling freely from the rooftop, suddenly Sun appeared and saved Angel Li. At that moment, Angel Li was surprised to see Sun was still alive. However, Zheng managed to capture Angel Li and take her away from there. While Lu was busy fighting a mutant that attacking the police who were still inside the building, he realized that his needle attacks were useless against the mutant. Lu then decided to find another solution, which was to explode himself along with the mutant. He did this as a sacrifice so that Yu Bai's death would not be in vain. Back to Sun, who managed to chase Zhang and briefly seize Angel Li. They both resumed their knife-throwing duel. Seeing this, Angel Li entered a large truck and tried to ram into Zhang, but she failed to kill him. After that, Sun and Zhang resumed their knife-throwing fight. However, Sun diverted his throws to save trapped civilians. Meanwhile, Zhang aimed his throw directly at Sun's body. But Angel Li quickly intervened, getting hit by Zhang's attack instead. After that, Sun felt both sad and angry upon realizing that Angel Li sacrificed herself for him. However, Sun had no knives left, so he grabbed a large piece of broken glass and threw it just as Zheng threw his knife. At that moment, Zheng's knife hit Sun's shoulder, but Sun immediately pulled the knife out and threw it back at Zheng, where Sun's throw hit Zheng's tailbone, revealing Zheng's weakness, causing him to die. After the battle ended, Sun hugged Angel Li, who was still alive. In the end of the movie, they got married two weeks after the incident. Moral lesson from the story, if you throw knives at monsters, make sure to aim for their tailbone, not their hearts, or you might end up marrying a journalist. <laughs>